You're watching Seatome TV. Knowledge is power. Holly is wondering, what is bioresonance therapy and is it effective in treating cancer? Uh, I have heard of bioresonance theory. I, therapy. Therapy. Um, I don't really... Um, you, don't, you want to come back to that one? No, maybe I don't really time? want to spend much time on it. It's using... It's using energy waves from your body. It's a holistic approach, and it's not something that I would, I would call uh, science-based. Okay, so it's not doesn't yet have uh, peer-reviewed <laughs> clinical data. Okay, potentially never will. Um, for things like this, Holly, it's always great to go to PubMed. Yes. Um, PubMed. Uh, really, have a look at PubMed online because um, that's kind of the hub. Uh, where you're going to at least be able to access abstracts for free of pretty much all, all the peer-reviewed journal articles that are out there right now um, and being, being published uh, in any peer-reviewed science journal. Mm -hmm. So, it, it, And oftentimes what I find when I look these kinds of treatments up for clients um, is that there is a study in there um, where somebody has actually tried to prove that this does work or doesn't work. Um, so uh, very likely if you went to PubMed and you typed in bioresonance therapy, you'd see something probably echoing what Alex has said, which is we tried to find some proof that this works, but uh, there wasn't any. Um, and it is very important when you're thinking about alternative therapies uh, that you look not just at the websites that are promoting these therapies, but you make sure you do an independent Google search uh, for uh, reviews and problems with and, uh, you know, facts to do with uh, these particular things. And again, have a look at PubMed. Um, and that way you know that uh, if you are doing something that's more of an alternative approach, that it has evidence behind it. It has medical science backup behind it. Um, because if it doesn't, you definitely don't want to be experimenting. Um, that's essentially what happened to Steve Jobs. He'd be with us today if he had not gone the alternative energy healing route. Um, so Is that what he did? That's and, what he okay. did. So he did and uh, uh, it wasn't bioresonance, but it was it was a combination of um, really just uh, I think vitamin C IVs maybe mm -hmm. and um, and certainly no allopathic treatment right. until it was way too late. Mm -hmm. And that is, uh, if you look at his bio, you'll see that uh, that's one of his greatest regrets in life, aside from not spending more time with his family, yeah. um, was that he did not uh, engage in any allopathic medicine, uh, went entirely alternative, and what was otherwise a very treatable cancer ended up killing him. So, well, I'm, I'm not sure it was very treatable, but uh, he could have got a lot more time. He could have had more time, yeah. yeah. Thank you for watching Seatome TV. Subscribe below and stay informed.